Hi. Since the body language of the president has not solved insecurity in Nigeria, and the last six years have been worse than the previous six years of President Jonathan that we complained so much about, should Nigerians start asking for restructuring now? The president's media aide, Femi Adeshino, telling us we'll appreciate President Borari after he's gone is scary. God forbid we get a worse president that will make us look back in appreciation of this government. The way President Jonathan now seems like a teen god as corruption persists and insecurity has gotten worse. 200 Islamia schoolboys were kidnapped in Niger State. Advisor to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan of political matters Ahmed Gulak was also shot in Imo. Former presidential candidate Omoye Elishowere was shot with tear gas canister by the police in Unity Fountain, Abuja, while parents of kidnapped school children in Kaduna had to pay huge ransom to get their children released. Now, the National Assembly is questioning Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, for $60 billion missing from recovered loot. While Malami denied recovered loot passed through him, the committee investigating the matter came with receipts from the CBN. It seems the Treasury single account isn't working. How can the Minister of Finance, Zainab Ahmed, say the government is borrowing from recovered loot to fund the budget? With whose approval? My advocacy today, therefore, is asking if Nigeria's solution is restructuring or secession. If Nigeria restructures to regions, it's the same former governors and present governors whose fights make their states insecure that will be in charge, albeit in their own regions. These people only have selfish agendas, not prosperity of their regions, obviously. In the same light, once Nigeria has Odudua, Bihafra, and Arewa nations, that's when you see these infights. Will the Wild Wild West suddenly become a peaceful and happy country where Sunday Igbo will work with Ghani Adams? Will all the political good boys used for election rigging, killings, and maiming in the East suddenly put down their ammunition and embrace peace? Will the Niger Delta militants stay calm when they become in charge of their region's wealth? Many questions we need to collectively answer before we experiment with Nigeria. There's a reason the former regions failed. Let's re read our history. I believe in a strong Nigeria. 200 million people is a huge market. 200 million people is also a formidable force. It's the people in government that have been failures. They come from within us, so let's all look within. I believe true federalism is the answer. No saint can effectively govern 774 local governments from any office in the center. Local governments must be autonomous of federal and state governments' interference. Think about it. If the education, health, security, and welfare of the people is from their community, will you be bothered what happens in Abuja? We will have to start with voting the most learned people into the local governments, though, and councillors will have to be people with tested track records. They ought to oversee the funding of educational and health institutions, community policing, sanitation, and general welfare of each community. State governments who should only get 50% of revenues accruable should then be in charge of huge state investments in power, agriculture, roads maintenance, waterways, which include sports, collaboration with other states to help their local governments buy or sell their resources, and so on. The federal government, who I suggest should only get 10% of Nigeria's resources, should then be for only international matters, like Nigeria's territorial integrity, land borders, armed forces, climate change issues like desertification in the north, and rising ocean levels in the south, West Africa refugee crisis, Africa Union, and the United Nations General Assembly matters. Will I care the religion or tribe of the president or governor when my community governed by someone from the community is providing good governance. Nigeria is a great nation with lots of opportunities. Every single region has resources. If you can't farm to sell food to other local governments, you can build silos for them to store their crops. We all have value. The leaders have just been lazy because of free oil money. Oil money dwindled and their only solution is to borrow money to keep earning their fat salaries. No be bewitchment with that. Countries without any resources are doing well in creating value that other countries can buy. We are exporting raw resources to import finished products. No be juju be that. I don't have all the solutions. I also know that I'm not saying anything new. It is we, the peoples of Nigeria, that must ensure that a small percentage of politicians siphoning our patrimony know that we know our rights and they cannot take advantage of us anymore. The current constitution also needs to go. Not reviewed.
My residential estate, for instance, has a constitution. We, the residents, put it together to govern ourselves. The military didn't hand it to us. That's what we need to expand on at the local government levels and make our local governments work again. Let me know what you think and how we need to start. 2023 is around the corner. Let's not repeat our mistakes by believing the lie that a Messiah is coming to save Nigeria anymore. As some are working to continue with the status quo so they can pocket Nigeria, we also must start to work to revive true federalism. Don't allow anyone deceive you that one thing God will also save your region. Let's not replace the national cabal with regional cabals. Nigerians will succeed in 2021.